What's up guys, Nintendo here once again, and I've just got a quick video for you guys. A couple unboxings, uh, one's kind of old, like a week and a half ago, I've just been kind of busy, and the other one I just got yesterday, a bunch of good games. First unboxing is just one game, I got it from Chris from PMR Productions. If you have not checked out his channel before, go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description be below. He actually sent a note with this, and I thought it was in here, but it's not, must have somehow got separated. So I don't know where the note is, but he basically thanked me for uh, the uh, trade and a uh, little self-promotion thing in there to add. So go check out his channel, damn it. It was actually pretty funny, but I can't recreate it because I don't know where the note is. But he did send something pretty awesome and something I've been wanting for quite a while. It's not just a regular-ass Super Nintendo game. It is actually Clock Tower. Yes, yes, Clock Tower, the reproduction for Super Nintendo. This is a survival horror game, basically a point-and-click adventure, and I have been after this for quite some time. In fact, I've been meaning to get this off of Chris for quite some time, but was kind of broke for a while, and then I forgot about it, and uh, yeah, I finally did a trade, though I cannot remember what the hell we traded for. But anyways, thank you very much, Chris. Go check out Chris's channel, PMR Productions. It's actually pretty fun. Um, I actually like his podcast. It's, it's really fun. It's just him talking, but he talks about pretty interesting subjects, and he's got a good sense of humor. And I believe, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, but I think he worked in radio for a little while. He's got a good radio voice. But uh, anyways, thank you very much for that. And then, so the second one is a little bit bigger of an un unboxing. Uh, there's probably eight or nine games in there, I think. But uh, actually, one of my viewers got a hold of me on Facebook. His name is Richard. And um, he said that he had some 2600 games that were extra and that he'd be willing to trade them to me. Or maybe even donate them to me, which was pretty cool. But uh, we ended up doing a trade, actually quite a large trade. And turns out that he's on one of the same groups that I'm on. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Oh, and he's into metal, and he gave me a metal demo. I didn't grab that. But uh, his band's name was Goat Bag, and it seemed pretty cool, so check those guys out. But uh, yeah, Richard's awesome, and uh, we talked for a little while, and he sent me this box of goodies. I threw away the original box, but I had one of the exact same ones that he sent me, so woohoo! Alright, so first of all, in this box of goodies, at the very end, he just threw in a couple games. And those were just... Uh, Centipede for the 5200, which I still don't have an Atari 5200. I'm kind of on the lookout for one, but uh, yeah, that seems kind of uncommon around this area for whatever reason. Not really sure why. And then Pole Position. And actually, one of the games that he got for me was a 5200 game, but it actually had the insert on the back and everything, which was pretty cool. I think it was Missile Command. But uh, yeah, thanks for that. That's awesome. These, those are just kickdowns. And really, these three Atari games are pretty much kickdowns as well. It wasn't really part of our trade, but uh, he said to pick out a few that I didn't have, and really there was only three I was interested in. I'm trying to get a lot of Activision games. I really like the Activision games and the way they stack and everything, but uh, there's boxing. Been meaning to get that for a while. The Laser Blast. I've never played this game, but it looks a lot like Missile Command, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Can't wait to play that. And if you don't know what I mean by the stacking thing, there's little tabs that like fit into each other and yeah prevents them from moving love that i think that's a cool packaging idea and then the last thing is one of those imagic games star voyager hell yeah uh, i've never played this one before but it sounds cool all right so on to the really good games this is the stuff that i was really trying to get from him first of all at the very end we negotiated for this and uh yeah i've been after this for a while Gavellius valley of doom which is basically a zelda clone uh, this does not have manual. Outside's a little beat up. There's like a little rip at the top corner here, but I'm trying to hold this box here. And the, the uh, case is a little messed up. I've got the hiccups, as usual. The Govelius. Freaking awesome. Okay, and then I got three Super Nintendo games from him, and this is the main reason I traded with him. And it was really after these three games. First one, maybe not so much. Uh, I have this on Genesis, but I wanted the Super Nintendo version way more. And that's uh, Weapon Lord. One of my buddies, Matt, always talks about this game. He says he loves Weapon Lord. And what's funny is I've had the Genesis version for months, never actually played it. But uh, yeah, now I'm stoked to have this really cool fighting game if you've never played it. It's a uh, medieval fighting game, and it's, it's pretty rad, actually. I kind of like it, and I don't like fighting games, so that says something. Um, the next one is a game that I got rid of a while ago. And man, I'm still kicking myself for it, but not anymore. Now I have it back. I did not give this game a fair chance when I first got it, and this is an amazing, amazing beat-em-up. Death and Return of Superman, so damn good. 
Yeah, so, so good. Let me put this back on metal here. But uh, yeah, Death and Return of Superman. Very good, like, story kind of graphics and stuff. And then just super bright, crisp graphics. Nice control, fluid action. Uh, so fluid, I gotta say, it's like Turtles in Time action. Like, super, super good beat em up. And the very last game I got, something I've been after for just, just forever. This Super Nintendo game has been eluding me for years, and it's only gone up in price, and I don't think I've ever actually seen this, like a physical copy of this, but Lost Vikings 2. Uh, I don't talk about it too much, but Lost Vikings, the first one, is actually one of my favorite Super Nintendo games, and I barely ever talk about it. I'm going to have to do a review on that, and this at some point. Lost Vikings 2 is just more of the same, and with a few more extra things and very nice graphics, Good music, still made by Interplay like the first one, so it's just more of the same, uh, but it seems like even better. There's just all kinds of stuff. Like, one of the dudes has a grappling hook now, like Bionic Commando, and yeah, there's just all kinds of fun to be had with Lost Vikings 2. If you haven't played the first one, it's still a decent price, like 20 bucks, I think, so get Lost Vikings for sure. Uh, if you already have Lost Vikings and love that game and have never heard of this, get Lost Vikings too. Um, also of note, there is a uh, Lost Vikings game for PlayStation that I used to have and I'm trying to get again. It's called Norse by Norse West. But uh, yeah, there is actually another Lost Vikings game. But that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Just a quick unboxing. Thank you very much, Chris from PMR Productions. Uh, check out his channel, link below. And uh, thank you very much for Richard. Thank you very much for watching my channel and getting a hold of me. and doing this trade that was a really awesome trade and you seriously especially these two you got me two games i've been after for quite some time oh actually you know what three gavelius yes uh he actually got a copy of uh hyperstone heist on genesis but the label was beat to crap and then he got a bunch of other stuff too but yeah it was a great trade and uh yeah thank you guys very much for watching leave a comment below let me go let me know what you guys think please like the video subscribe it's down below thank you very much for watching keep rocking the retro games